Okay, we're going to give it give it a go at loading in a cross section into Google Earth. So let's go to Google Earth here, and you can see here is my cross section. If I click it on and off, um, and you should be able to rotate around it, but I never know how to rotate in Google Earth anyway. So um, yeah, it's it's literally standing up. So how do we do this? So Go to this website up here, I know it's a long one, I will post it um, in the details section of this YouTube video. And Steve Whitmire, I assume, is the person who's developed it and done a great job. And these are the steps that we're going to follow and then we're going to put in some parameters here and then we're going to generate the cross section and then we'll literally just open it up in Google Earth. So the first step says draw your cross section in a graphics program like Adobe Illustrator and save it to your desktop as a PNG file with a transparent background named image PNG or whatever name you want to give it um, or type the file name in the box below. So I've said to you go and download this verna underscore fractures.png file from uh, the field school Google Drive. So download it and place it on your desktop. Make sure, let's go here to desktop, it needs to be on the desktop. So here it is on my desktop down at the bottom. Okay, let's go back to our list of things to do. Step number two, download this file and save it to your desktop. Right click, save link as. So you're going to right click on this xsection.dae, right click, go save, let's just see if there's anything else. For me, I've only got save link content as. Okay, when this comes up, make sure you do it to your desktop. If you do it anywhere else, it's not going to work. So I'm going to save it there. I'm not actually going to do it because I've already got it on my desktop. Number three, complete the form below and then click on enter information at the end to generate your necessary KML code in a pop-up window. Okay, so let's do that first before we move to step four. So it wants the file name. So this is the name of the file on your desktop. If you are worried about typing this wrong, Rather go to your desktop here, right click on the file, go to rename, copy what is here, right click, copy and paste it here so that you know you don't spell anything wrong. Okay. Now it says what is the longitude of the northwest corner of the cross section and the next one is the latitude of the northwest corner of the cross section. So let me open up this cross section. So it is the coordinates on this side of your profile. Um, and so I got these out of uh, Geosoft. I had this program in Geosoft. Ideally, when you are in the field, you need to take GPS readings at the start and the end of your profile. So you will have these values from being in the field. And so that is why I told you to download this parameters.txt file because that has all the details. And so you can see here I'm opening it up. Here is the longitude and here is the latitude and it needs to be in decimal degrees. So it can't be degrees, minutes, seconds. It has to have dot and then numbers after it. So um, you're going to copy both of these values and you're going to come here and paste it over here. It says the third thing, altitude relative to the ground for the base of the cross section. So where do you want your cross section to start? On the ground, above the ground. I want mine to start on the ground, so I put zero. What is the orientation of your cross section? Um, I must admit, I don't know how to recommend this to you. Uh, you could probably figure it out. I'm very lazy and I do it in Geosoft. So I've got 74. So just to show you, this is Geosoft. This is my profile over here. And so the nice thing in Geosoft is you can go right click, go measure angle, and you click here and here. And you'll see in the, so, okay, hold on, I just have to make this full screen, else it doesn't show it. Um, let's do it again, measure angle, and up here. You can see in the bottom right here, it gives us an angle, so 74. So that's a very easy way of doing the angles. I don't have anything to suggest otherwise. What is the length of your cross section? So again, you'll know from the field, you'll have recorded how long your profile is, and the height of your cross section is just how deep it is. So this one is 40 meters deep and about 210 meters long. Create tour to elevate cross section. I've never done this, I'm sorry. Go and try it out if you want to figure it out. And now you're going to click on enter information, and you get all this code. Now let's see what he tells us to do with this code. It says, 
Number four, copy and paste this code from the pop-up window. Use paste special unformatted text into a blank document and save that document as plain text with a KML extension to your desktop. Important, make sure you include the KML extension at the end of the document name. Recommended, Firefox users can save page as the pop-up window um, as a text file. Okay, I don't use Firefox, so what I'm going to do, you'll see here is this pop-up window that came up. I'm going to highlight all of it, scroll down to the bottom, right click, copy. I've got Notepad open here. I'm just going to go right click, paste, and remember he said we need to save it as a KML file. So I've got File, Save As. I'm going to save this all to my desktop where everything else is saved. Um, and so I'm going to call it Verna underscore Fracture. And I'm taking away this .txt. You don't want that. You can type KML. I've actually already got this file. So when I click that, it says I've got it already. Do I want to replace it? Yes. Okay, so that should be it. And now it says, in Google Earth, open the KML file you created, or double click on the icon. In Google Earth, save places as the Crocs section folder as a KMZ file. I'll show you that now. So we're going back into uh, Google Earth. I'm going to File, I'm going to Open. And remember, I saved it on my desktop. Here's my Verna Fracture. You might want to actually take this and put it in the folder you created under Download, so you can find it again. But we'll also resave it now. So I'm going to double click on it. You will notice in Google Earth, it loads it, let me just stop this movie, under temporary places, here is my cross section. So I found it did this er earlier for me, maybe you guys will have something different. It zoomed out and it put me somewhere weird. So you have to go here to cross section, expand it if it hasn't already, so that you're at this clear box. Double click on that. Oh, this is the one that took me to strange places. Oh no? Okay, there what it worked. So if I click on this top one here, it takes me completely weird. I don't know where it's taking me. But if I expand this cross section um, file and I double click on this white box, it takes me to where the cross section is. So it took me a while to figure that one out. And it zooms you down into your cross section, which should be here. Now what you should go do is first of all drag this up above temporary places because if you close Google Earth and it's still in temporary places it, you, it loses it. You can also right click on it, sorry, right click on this cross section with the Google Earth symbol next to it, right click and go save places as and now go to your folder you created under downloads and give it a decent name and you'll see now it's no longer KML file it's changed to a KMZ file um, so you can click save and it will save it there. Okay, so that's how you load in a cross-section.